hey guys how's it going hey guys welcome back to fandom builds on this video i'm going to show you how i put together one of my most anticipated projects that i've been looking forward to build and finish since probably the link sword the the uh master sword from link actually probably before that i'm really excited to show you guys what this is going to be this is going to be a harry potter build i'm excited to finally be done with it let's jump right into it and i'll show you how i put this one together all right, so with this project, I did print all of the parts out on my Ender 3 Pro in plastic and PLA. Stay tuned because I do change up a couple of these pieces to resin eventually. First, I'm fitting the entire blade to two 1 8 inch brass rods. The, the blade's gonna live on this these rods for the remaining of the project until it dies or falls apart. I'm starting at the tip, I'm gluing the brass rods into the tip, and I'm just gonna continue putting all five to six pieces of the blade on the rods. There's supposed to be six, but I did break one of the sword parts just because it snapped in two. Uh, I was able to salvage the piece. I didn't have to do anything to it. It wasn't like damaged to the point where I couldn't use it anymore. I just put it right back on the rod and stuck it all together. The E6000 that I'm using to adhere all the parts together works out really great. I'm just smashing them all together, holding them together as hard as I can uh, just to make sure that it, it seals well. And I'm using some really thin super glue to sneak into all those small cracks and those holes that the E6000 may not have reached and I'm using some activator to cure it up instantly. Okay, it is time to sand. Look at that, you can see that there is a lot of E6000 that smushed out of the pieces in between each of those seams. I wasn't worried about overflow or getting anything on top of it because I know I'm gonna be ripping that down anyway with some sandpaper. I'm gonna start off with some 60 grit just to make sure I can rough up that real nice and uh, we'll work our way up in grit from there. Probably going back and forth a little bit. No need to be worried about that. Just keep going back and forth until you're happy with the texture you have, as smooth as you want to get it. Just keep on sanding. All right, so I'm not going to waste your time with this portion of the sanding tutorial because I end up trashing this entire part, the entire crossbar pommel and the handle, because after I get it printed out, no matter what the settings you put on your printer i could not get it to come out smooth i had tons of layer lines it looked awful so i ended up changing the material to resin a little bit later we'll just move on to the next step i have a respirator on right now so you can't understand what i'm saying but what i'm saying is i have two coats of primer on the sword at this point and i'm going to continue to sand the piece right now i have 150 grit so i've gone from 60 to 150 I'm trying to smooth this blade down a bit more. I'm gonna just keep on sanding until I get it to where I want it to be. It is as smooth as I can get it. There's always cracks that you cannot fill. Even there are little tiny hairline fracture cracks. I'm gonna do the best I can. I know there's gonna be cracks left over that I'm just impossible to fill. Put some Bondo on it now. Some people don't like Bondo. I think it's great. I think it's a great alternative to wood filler. It fills on those gaps so much better than wood filler ever can. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a little trick while I'm sanding this blade down. If you're sanding down something or an object that has to stay super smooth, I basically just put some painter's tape on the other side of the blade, helps protect the surface of whatever you're working on. I'm still putting a lot of Bondo on there. I'm moving it around a lot, so I'm just using that to protect the opposite side of the blade. Now I'm gonna start wet sanding. I have talked about this before in other videos. Wet sanding is a really great way of getting a very fine, smooth surface. If it's something like a sword or like maybe a helmet, it's a good idea to use wet sanding as one of your final sanding steps. Grit levels like 320, 600. Once the sandpaper turns black, you should probably wet sand with it. All right, this is just a red oxide primer coat. This is just to highlight any mistakes that I have that I need to fix before moving on to the next step. And after the red oxide primer, I'm gonna put a gloss black on there also. Just spraying a nice coat of gloss black on there. Make sure it's nice and shiny and smooth. It looks great after that gloss black goes on there. I've gotten all my parts printed out. I got my crossbar, my toe cap, pommel, and handle. These two were printed by a friend. 
and these two are printed on my Anycubic. So then I'm going to prime the parts that have not been primed, which will be these two, and then go over it with a black gloss spray paint, let that cure. Then I'm going to add some silver rub and buff to it. I did some tests with this metallic luster stuff. It gives it more of a waxy coat and less of a shiny metallic coat. Then we're gonna chrome the sword and we should be good. Got everything painted in gloss black. It's looking nice. Now I'm going to start working that rub and buff into it. Gonna make sure I wear some gloves because this stuff gets, this one sticks to you. Right, let's start with this one. Okay, I got a new step real quick. Um, so I was getting this look right here, which isn't bad, but it's a little flat. I'm gonna try the graph out out, and what it does is it darkens up the metal a little bit more. Add some detail. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks a little bit more like uh, an aged metal. I don't wanna weather this one that much because it is the sword. It's supposed to be in perfect condition all the time. So I just wanna make it look old, but not weather. Does that, does that make sense? So I'm gonna go over it with the graphite powder. We'll see what this ends up looking like. This is no graphite. This is graphite. But there's a little bit of a difference. Darkens it up a little bit, I like it. The main reason why I'm wanting to do this with the handle is because I wanna set up some sort of separation between the blade and the crossbar and the handle. The blade's gonna be chrome. This is sort of chrome also, but I wanna make this a little darker. So there's a separation between the handle and the sword. try to do all these things today. I'm gonna paint the sword, I'm gonna get the, the handle put together, I'm gonna get the gems on there, I'm gonna try to do all this stuff today, get this thing done, and get this project completed. I made another huge mistake. That's great. I was just put together with a couple of brass rods just to hold it together in place. I grabbed the wrong part and the other other part that was not connected yet fell off and it fell to the ground and it snapped and it broke. I didn't end up printing the crossbar again because I actually had another one. I printed this other one for testing, for paint testing, and I kind of like it. It's okay, it's in good shape and there's nothing, pretty sure there's nothing wrong with it. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give me a new opportunity to paint it differently. That's how I'm taking this situation. I'm fine! I had one more gem to put on it. Look at that, that's wonderful. This part is in about 20 different pieces on the ground right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm reprinting the handle, the handle part that's right here, and the pommel, but this one was already printed. Did a little bit of uh, paint test with it, and I like how it's looking. This is super shiny and a little bit dark. A little bit darker. I like how that looks though. This one looks better. I'm gonna take this situation and I'm gonna be okay with it. But these gems look pretty good. I literally had two left before it broke. Very sad. But I think this is gonna look a lot better. I'm very excited about this look right here. That's the plan. Here we go. So here's the crossbar. I'm gonna redo the black gloss paint on all the parts. Gloss black graphite powder. Without the graphite, it's not as shiny. Do a little bit of the chrome on top. Not a heavy coat, just a light coat, just to bring that shine to the front. With the sword though, I think I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Just do the graphite on it, and then go from there. Because the graphite kind of gives it that real metal look. I know the sword in the movie is like super duper shiny, 
but we're gonna see what that looks like first. All right, so right now, what I've done is I've gotten the, all the pieces painted black and then covered with graphite powder. So I think this looks pretty sweet. It looks pretty great. <laughs> and then the pommel was done also. All these match pretty well together. Put a coat of chrome on these two pieces and then we should be in good shape. All right, so all I got left to do now is to glue it together and put the resin gems on there also. And those are just about done too. Sanded them down and then just put a simple clear coat on top of it, real easy. I've just needed to let them sit so I don't end up touching them when they're still sticky. Got the sword hanging up, hopefully it doesn't fall. Hopefully this all goes right. I would love to have this finished tomorrow. I'm going to put the gems on first and hopefully I don't drop it and break anything again. Fingers crossed, hopefully everything goes well for tomorrow. I'm gonna finish it, it's gonna look fantastic. This, this month long project is now going to be finished. It's exciting. All right, so I finished it. It looks great. You can see the whole name on there. And I think that the crossbar and the handle came out pretty great. I, I was able to get away with having a little, not so much spillover with the glue. You wanna make sure when you put these together, there's there, it's all, all flat surfaces, so you don't need a lot of glue for a lot of these surfaces. It's like in between these two parts and up in this area. So I just had to make sure I didn't have any spillover down the sword. I put a thicker glue on the surface where I knew it was going to be adhered to directly. And I took the thinner glue and I poured it, I put it at the top so it would go down inside of it along the, the post that's inside. So that's why I ended up, because I was a little bit thinner, it was able to get through those cracks. Um, I didn't want to put it in here because it would just, it would drip everywhere. It would ruin the whole thing. So if you want to do that, want to be careful with your glue uh, applications. I'm going to put together a video, a short video about how I was, how I'll build a hanging device to, to display this on the wall in the house. I'm really happy with this. Build this on your own. I left the link for the file. I found it on Thingiverse, but it was a free file. You guys can get it. It's really nice. It looks really accurate to the, the film. Got to figure out how to hang this thing up now.